What's up guys, your favorite fellow earthling, Austin Hustler Hires, back with another junk removal video. And today was a normal day for me, waking up and, uh, oh, look, I'm getting interrupted. Like I said, today was a normal day and I was gonna be at home making and editing a video, but um, Richard texted me at six o'clock in the morning saying he is sick and he can't come in and it's too late to call Joey. We gotta get out and do these jobs. Say hi, Magnus. Hi. Say hi to the camera. Hi. All right, let's get on with the day, guys. Today is a day in the life video, and I am here with Brandon. He hasn't been on a video in a while. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get this day done. We got a drop off, we've got a junk removal, and we've got a pickup so far, so a pretty short day. Let's go ahead and see what it entails for us. Uh, all right, so we're gonna dump this load we have in the dumpster right now and then we have to drop this dumpster off We're at the gas station. I got to put some diesel fuel in this truck Sometimes as the owner of a business you have to um, Do whatever you have to do to get out there and make sure the jobs get done for your company Three dollars and seven cents a gallon 32 gallons later. We're at ninety nine dollars on the dot now that the tank is full of diesel fuel, let's get on with the day. All right, what's up guys? So we dropped off the dumpster. I didn't record that, sorry about it. I actually forgot that I was recording today. Um, but we are here at our next job, which is picking up a 16 cubic yard dumpster. And I just backed up to it. And look at that, they filled it literally flat to the top. Looks like they did a great job filling it. I mean, I've never seen anybody fill it flat to the top like that. Actually, I've seen it a few times. I can't lie. There's some baseball bats in there we could use for the rage room. All right, so I gotta um, pull this up on here, maybe readjust a little bit. Sorry, it's all foggy. It's moist out today. We're gonna go ahead and get this on the trailer and go dump it and go do our junk removal. Alrighty then. We're at the transfer station once again. This load is actually pretty heavy. 18,000 pounds is what we weigh total. So I'm gonna guess it's like 60 bucks in dump fees. We're waiting on the tractor to uh, finish like pushing the stuff into the truck there. And then he'll let us in the building and we'll dump it out. What do you think the, uh, what do you think it's gonna be? Just take a while, guess. $47.87. <laughs> All right, wild <laughs> guess. All right, guys, we'll see. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and dump it and see who wins this challenge. <laughs> this is the one thing I hate the most, guys, when you're at the landfill and they've got these nails all over the ground. And hopefully I didn't get one in my tire already, but there are nails everywhere. So anyway, we're about to dump this load right now. It is slap full, really heavy load. So we're checking out of the transfer station and it was $63. So I guess $60, I was the closest on the winner. That means I get a high five. Thank you for payment of high five in full. <laughs> All right guys, we're headed to the junk removal now and uh, that's the last job of the day. So I will update you when we get there. All right, we just arrived at our last job of the day. It's a junk removal, has a few items at it. Here's the house, I'm about to walk up and uh, greet the customer and see what we got. And we sold the job, $515. I'll go ahead and walk you guys around the job right now. We've got some potted plants, uh, arcade basketball game. Uh, we've got um, some kids floaties. We've got a swing that we have to take down. Not too much, but we do have to go here and there and there and here. It'll be close to a full load. The customer just moved the vehicle for us and uh, Brandon is already working back there moving some of these storage containers we got to get out. I'll go ahead and walk you guys through the property right now. Let's get to it. All right, so we've got these storage containers that uh, Brandon is loading up right now to remove. And in the garage here, we've got a few things. Um, up on this shelf, we've got some of these paint cans up here we've got to remove. We've got this cart we need to remove. This is the basketball thing. 
and there are a few TVs back there in the corner. We'll have to get out and then let's walk in the backyard here and I'll show you what we got to remove from back there. Really nice house right by the beach. Super cool customer. So back here is actually something I want to show you guys. I've never seen up close before, but um, look at that. It's a bee nest. Those are all bees all over the thing. It's a honey bee box, I guess. And uh, there are thousands of them right there. Never seen anything like this up close. She said that they won't sting me. So I'm going to go with that and uh, trust it. This wheelbarrow we're going to be getting out of here. This uh, trash can full of water we're going to get out of here. The other trash can sitting next to it. We're going to get that out of here as well. And then we have a few more things here in the backyard. Um, we have to get out. So we're going to get this swing out of here. And uh, then the storage boxes that were on that side of the yard, Brandon already got. So that is the job. We're going to go ahead and get it loaded up and get out of here. Tubular dude, we just finished up this junk removal, guys. Uh, what 20 minutes, 15 20 minutes? Yeah, 20, 25. Um, yeah, as you can see in the hyperlapse, we loaded up maybe like a half a load. It is super hot and humid out here. We're right next to the beach, so the air is just a little bit salty. I could taste it in my mouth. We dropped off a dumpster for 375 today. We picked up a dumpster, no charge, and we did a junk removal for 515. So we made a little bit over uh, 800 bucks today, almost $900 for the business. So anyway, we're headed back to the office and I will talk to you soon. What is up guys? It is the next day since the last time you saw me and Brandon and I'm still working out here in the field because Richard is sick. I hope you get better soon. <laughs> uh, anywho, we are at the first job of the day and we're going to go ahead and give this guy an estimate. I have an estimate worked up, guys. The first thing we do is we take a look at all of the um, we take a look at all of the stuff we have to remove and then we take pictures of it, we upload it to Workies, and uh, then we let the customer know we'll have an estimate for them within a few minutes. We're in the car right now writing up the estimate. We put house clean out on there and I just put miscellaneous junk, door, window, wood, paint, dolly, cardboard boxes, hangers, countertop, drywall, lamp, and small furniture, and then like, etc. right? So that's like the stuff we're removing in the description. And then I put 450 for the removal of that. I also added labor on there of 200. And this is how we're doing our estimates now because it, it kind of shows them a more elaborate breakdown instead of just showing up and like, yeah, we'll do it for 500 bucks. We actually take our time to create invoice and then show the customer the invoice, which I will show you what they see right now. Um, basically, we're going to walk up to them with this uh, up here on Workies, which actually gives them the ability to pay with their credit card right there. And down below that is their invoice with all of our contract details and all of the description and how much it's going to cost for them to do the job. So we're going to go ahead and present this to the customer, see if we can sell the job. And if we do that, we're going to go ahead and show you what we have to remove. And then we're going to go ahead and get it done. Stay tuned to see if we get this job, guys. We are looking to charge a total of $669.50 for it. Let's see if we can get it. All right, so I'm back in the truck up into the driveway now, and uh, we sold the job for the 669.50. And as soon as I got in the truck, guys, he was like, "Oh shit, I forgot to tell you about something else." He's like, "If you want to add another hundred dollars on for it or whatever." So we actually may end up getting around, you know, 769.50 out of this, depending on if it's worth a hundred dollars, whatever he's talking about. But uh, there is more stuff to remove. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little walkthrough of what we're removing and then we're going to get her done. 
Um, it's a pretty good sized job. You know, this is the type of jobs we like to get where we don't have to um, go to, you know, three, four different houses to accumulate $700. We can do it all in one job. Um, these big jobs are what we like getting. This is what I would encourage you to uh, go after and get these big jobs. Anyways, the customer's waiting out there for me to show him uh, or to show me what he's removing. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording real quick. We're gonna go check out what he's removing. I'll probably record that and show you guys the rest of it. Let's get going with this junk removal. I wanna get this day started. We got this junk right here we have to remove inside the house. We're about to remove this junk in the corner. Is this metal rack in those two things right there? We've got this thing right here we have to remove and put in the dumpster. Not much back here, but I hope you enjoy my accent. We have the hangers we have to remove. Brandon, how do you like it? I like it. Okay, we have our trash cans and we will show you the rest just momentarily. We got some glass to put in the red room, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to remove this small pile. And what we do is we put the smashables and the keepables outside the trailer. And all the trash is the trash can. And you want to utilize the boxes to put the junk in. The less trips you take, the better it is. Brand new roll-up blinds. Sweet. We need a bag for these paints. We need a bag for your face. All right, now I gotta get this guy out of here and that's the last piece on this side of the house. Junk removal is fair refund, hey. Where's my dolly at? Okay, here's my dolly. What the heck is going on back here? Brandon, bro. Oh Jesus, dude. What did what did those hangers ever do to you? What did those hangers ever do to you, bro? Looking at me wrong. I like hangers. You don't want to get on Brandon's bad side if you're a hanger. Okay, everybody, we going to remove this stuff out here. Nothing, not none of the furniture, but these blinds. This stuff on the table and in the shed right over here. We're going to remove most of this debris in the shed except for the blue cart and the red cart. The blinds up there we're going to take. We get a free dolly right here, some paints, another blind and so on and so forth. And then we have another shed over here. I hope you hit the like button. I feel like I'm in a goofy mood today. This shed is majority of the junk removal. And if you see it, it is going. Except for the window and the blue bucket behind it. But everything else is going. And that is pretty much it. I did not know there was concrete bags there, so that is going to be pretty heavy. Let's go hard and get on to this junk removal so we can get it done. <laughs> is that how you put your gloves on? <laughs> Well, all right, we got the first half of the house cleaned out. We got the first shed cleaned out. 
and now I am moving the uh, truck and the trailer over to the other side of the yard and then we're gonna work on the other side of the house and the second shed I have yet to show you the uh, second part of the house but you shall see that soon right after these commercials well I hope you guys have been enjoying our comedy today and our wacky accents but it's time to get back to work that was a nice two second AC break Brandon's back here busting his booty for let it go junk removal let it go and breathe easy guys 83344 let go only call me for your junk removal needs if you guys want to know any information about starting a junk removal business go ahead and add me on instagram austin hustle hires i only have about 50 followers on there i'd like to have up to 100 followers by the end of this week after this video so make sure you go to instagram austin hustle hires add me as a friend follow me do whatever you got to do on there let's get back to the job so we have a door and some wood and an umbrella and I think he said there's a bag of rocks under there as well. Um, this gate opens from the inside so I'm going to go around and open that gate. I'll be right back with you. Alright so we're on the other side of the gate now on the other side of the fence where the grass is greener. All we got to do is pull that up and open this and voila there we are. Beautiful truck full of garbage something that you've never seen before. Let's go ahead and get this stuff back here before I forget about it. Holy crap, Ola. We got an ant infestation and Brandon's being a puss. They're killer ants, man. They are not. You. They're carpenter ants, they're Brandon. Eating. But these guys are pretty big. Look at the head on that sucker. But yeah, these are carpenter ants, bro. They eat wood. They don't want to eat my wood. I'm not having that. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, um, get to work. Get to work. Hyperlapse, here we go. What up guys, we are almost done with the shed here, probably another 10-15 minutes in here. Uh, at the rate we're going, we have a good distance to walk to the truck before we can even throw the stuff in it. So that's what's taking us so long and that's why you have to price these jobs accordingly. So the more distance you have to walk in these jobs, the more you want to charge for your junk removal because that is what's going to make it take so long. Um, and if you have a job that's like right there in the driveway, blah, 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 it's so much easier. So then you price accordingly for that. Um, so yeah, tip of the day, guys. We're almost done with this shed. We're going to get back to it. We'll talk to you soon. Ah.
I've got two tips of the day for you guys. So the number one tip I have for you right now is if you got wheels, use them. Basically, if you have a dolly or a cart or a four-way, which is a flat dolly with the four wheels on the bottom, or you have a wheelbarrow, use your wheel, use your wheels, guys. This flat wood, typically we'd be carrying two pieces out at a time, but we've got wheels here, so we stack them up like that, and as long as you can fit through the gate, um, you always want to think about the width that you're stacking it up on the dolly because you might not be able to fit through the door or the gate. And then I have one more tip for you guys as well. I'm going to go ahead and wheel this down to the truck and I'm going to show you the second tip. Here we go. And my second tip for you is keep anything you find on these junk removals that can help you out in your business, in your junk removal business. For example, all this plywood back here, guys, we chop it up into sizable pieces to keep in our truck so we can set our dumpsters on it. When we have dumpster rentals, we always roll the dumpster off onto wood. So one for each back foot and one for each front foot. And that way it never touches the concrete floor. That way we can never be held responsible for any of the damages done to the concrete. None of it will be our responsibility because the dumpster will always be touching the wood and never the concrete. Anyway, yeah, second tip of the day, guys, is save your wood there. Um, save anything that's gonna help you um, run your junk removal business or dumpster rental business more successful. All right, so we're almost finished up back here, but we also have this uh, small piece of fence to take and this stuff sitting outside the shed right here we have to get out to the truck and pretty much everything is out of here we got to get that one paint can and uh, he's getting the miscellaneous wood right now bada bing bada boom we're done out here we got the inside of the the other the inside of the other side of the house we're going to finish that up and then we'll be done with the job we're going to uh, charge the little bit of extra fee that we um, had to tack on some items there in the end and we're out of here All right, let's check what's out. Uh, let's go check out what's in this house. Not much, shouldn't take too long. That over there. Can we check out what we got in here? And we're done with the shed out there, so. This stuff right here, right? Yep, all this stuff. Okay. That stuff, the table. That guy, okay. That guy. Okay, all right, I'll go ahead and get that stuff out of here. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, a full 16 cubic yard dumpster closing the gate. We are all finished, except for that metal rack sitting over there, which I'm gonna go grab right now. We are always finding things to help us, whether it's in our Airbnb, in our junk removal, or in my rage room. So I've got three businesses that benefit from one business, and that's the way you, you should probably, um, that's the way you stack up your businesses to be the most successful and profitable possible. Well guys, the day is coming to an end and my battery life on my GoPro is also doing the same. We, uh, we're leaving this job, we got it all filled up. We got paid 740 something dollars total. Uh, Brandon's hopping in, we're gonna go dump it at the landfill 
and actually we're gonna go by the rage room and drop off a lot of the smashables and then we're gonna dump it at the transfer station then we have to drop the dumpster off at the office and go pick up a dumpster and uh, yet again it's been another short day but also not too bad of a day uh you know one job making a 740 bucks within an hour and a half is not too shabby if i do say so myself um Stay tuned if my battery has any life left in it. I'm gonna record a little bit more. If not, we'll see you next time. Uh, Alright, so there's these two gay guys, right? Yeah, talk louder. I uh, can't hear you. Alright, so there's these two. There's these two gay guys. You ready? Okay. Can you hear that? Alright, so I heard that. <laughs> so anyway, that's ah, <laughs> so funny. Just kidding. <laughs> Go on with the joke. Anyway, they're having relationship problems. Uh huh. So, and they don't want to particularly break up, you know, because it's, you know, gay, you know, people. Are, you know, but. So, anyway, they go to a little doctor person that, um, counselor? Yeah, exactly. Helps with relationships. Mm -hmm. They talk to them. <clears throat> they both put out their little side of the story and all this, that, and the other. And the doctor, he's like, well, you know, it sounds like. To me, you guys just need to, um, you know, maybe, maybe maybe spice things up a little. Do something different in the bedroom, you know, go out for dinner, you know, just you can't do the same shit every day. It gets boring, and then you get tired of each other. So change it up, see how, how that helps, you know? Mm -hmm. <coughs> so they're like, okay. So they go back home, you know, and they're like, okay, let's let's try this, um, change it up in the bed thing. <laughs> so they, they started playing this game called um, Guess What's Up There, you know? So one gay guy gets on bed, bends over. He's like, okay, I'm ready. The other gay guy, he goes, um, he goes to the garage and he grabs a broom. And he brings a broomstick back in there, shoves it up the guy's ass. <laughs> so just, just jamming it in there. And he's like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh, that's a broom. And he's like, yeah, you guessed it. All right. So he pulls that, yanks that fucker right out of his ass, puts it back. <laughs> and then he, go, he goes in the kitchen and grabs it grabs a mop. He goes in the bedroom, shoves that thing up his ass. <laughs> and he's like, ah, oh, that's a mop. And he's like, yep, you're right. He, <laughs> he goes in the bathroom and he grabs the, um, the fucking, the, um, plunger. Yeah. Oh, so you played this for, huh? No, I'm just, <laughs> that wasn't, that's what's in the bathroom. <laughs> a fucking plunger. Uh, Yep, you Wait, was that the joke? Yeah, it was. <laughs> you fucking dummy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, only they say only experience, you know, you catch on. Otherwise. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've unclogged a lot of toilets, you know, a lot of pipes. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. your pipes cleaned out quite often, haven't you? <laughs> no, but I do the pipe cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when it's your turn though, right? All the time. I'm the pipe cleaner. I clean pipes. <laughs> with your mouth clean ones dirty ones <laughs> not bloody ones like you though oh yeah i like yeah. bloody ones oh god it's disgusting it's so gross it's like fucking a homeless person you know Ugh. <laughs> it's real, it's real Ugh. <laughs> uh.